With me is a man who has joined me in the past and had a mighty reception. And he's back again, <laughs> flaunting all the advice he's got. And oh, he's you know here, that. Marty Bello. <laughs> Hiya, Marty. Hi, Grant. Nice to see you good again, Good to Terry. see you. You brought, a, you brought a pet pianist with you? Yes, and a good Celtic boy he has today, so we're keeping it Celtic between the three of us. Excellent. Let's we stick together. Uh, Look, I, I have so many letters about you here. Well, well, and these, well. Are the, these are the ones I can broadcast. Okay. As a student living in France in 1980, I hung about Wet Wet Wet's Hotel in Lyon aiming to get the band's autograph. Boy. Not only were they all charming, but they asked me to translate the local paper's review of the concert the night before. Oh. Uh, Alison Walsh of North London says, I'm now a professional translator. Can you tell Marty he owes me 120 quid? Well, what does that translate into euros? <laughs> It's no there you much. are. You, you can't nail Marty Pillow that easily. Oh, no, no, no. Could you say hello to Marty uh, from me? Says Amanda Harvey. I'm a massive fan of his. We've all got my crosses to bear. I've pre-ordered Hope and got oh. me tickets to Evita. And also, I love you. Oh, so oh, Second-hand love there, you see. You see that? So tell us all about yourself. Where have you been? Well, have I've you been come down? Do you, do you still live in Scotland? No, no, no. I'm living down here and amongst it. You know, I've, I've so you come haven't, make, you haven't come any while. great distance for this, in other words. No, I haven't. No, I came in to see. You know, I'm only, uh, you know, I'm only an hour away, so I travelled in. It's an easy, it's an easy ride in. Yeah. So, what are you doing at the moment? I know that you've got a new album, yeah. out, Hope. Yeah, I've got a new album out now called Hope, which comes out um, uh, on the seventeenth. But it's also it's show songs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've been doing a lot of musical theatre, and me and my friend Bo. Uh, Kenry decided to make a record together, and we just, you know, we picked songs that we wanted to to see in the record and that, that, that we loved, you know, so... Yeah, uh, you know, and you've called it Hope. Yeah. So hope. obviously that's that's the motivation. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, it's uh, inspired by Bill's mom, mommy, uh, Hope, and she, she was a magnificent lady, a lovely lady, and, you know, it's, once we'd re we recorded all the songs, it just seemed a nice thing, you know, to tip our hat to her and dedicate the album to her. So, mm. I mean, it's a pleasure. Well, of course, as I say, we know you, obviously, wet, 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 we know you as a solo artist, but, um, Aye. You, of course, you took to the stage, to the boards. To the boards. Several now, yes, years ago. Can you yeah. not tell? I'm sitting in front of you right now in a smoking jacket and a cravat. I have changed. Look at you, and, and an opera cloak. Well, it's nice to see you. Very, I very you look nice. great in that kilt. And that Homburg is lovely on you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so you were in Chicago. <clears throat> yep. The Witches of Eastwick. Yes. Chess. I just recently finished doing Blood Brothers. Uh, it's a Russell killer, piece. isn't it? Isn't it's it, a great gig. It's a great. I isn't love the isn't idea. Isn't it the most tiring thing you can do? I mean, you're doing it twice on a Wednesday and on, on a Saturday as well. And yeah, I know. But I, like, a, like a, I said, Terry, I was a terrible painter and decorator. You know, so I'm looking at the bigger picture. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think Marty Pello says Mavis Heartstring, aged eighty. I think Marty Pello is the sexiest man on the planet. Well, she's uh, well. Thank you very much, Mavis. Does he want to come out for a kebab with me tonight? As I'm a bit lonely. Do you know, Mavis? Well, and that is a that is a wonderful <laughs> offer. You know, I, lo I love a lady that likes a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, God bless. <laughs> and look, honestly, I've had so much mail about you. So obviously, you're more popular than you think. Well, that's nice. Corinne from Bergenhuk in Holland. I'm listening online in Holland. I love Marty Pello. Oh. Ask, does he plan to be doing a Hope concert in, in Holland? Are you, are you well, going you to know, spread your wings to, to yeah, Europe? Yeah, I'd love to come back to uh, Holland. I was just recently there uh, doing War of the Worlds. That's right, uh, that's what she mentions. Uh, and, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, uh, we had a lot of success in Holland. So, yeah, I would like to be coming over and do some European legs. Well, they're coming over to see you anyway. Corinne, ah, well, that, well, that's that. It's Corinne and Nicolette have come over to see you in Brighton. Aye. And the, the little personal things that we learn about you. What's the last that? time you came to Holland, you asked for licorice. Look at us, I. Well, uh, lots of people go to, to Holland, particularly Amsterdam, for mm -hmm. other things, things other than licorice, don't Well, they? let's keep this a family conversation, yeah. that's right. Yeah. For the so, museums, obviously. We're wondering if he wants some more, because they'll bring some to Brighton. Would you like it sweet or salt? I like the sweet. The salt is, well, quite frankly, salty. I suppose that's why it's called salty You see, licorice. my powers of observation surpass me again, Terry. Oh, I tell you what, Marty. Boy's no fool. No, no. Thank you for inviting the lovely Marty Pello. What a wonderful way to spend Mother's Day. This is oh, Ange. Right. Send him lots of love. So, lots of love going out to you from and, uh, you know, hundreds and eight thousands know, Mother's of people. Day. You know, I'm a mammy's boy, and uh, it's, it's fair to say, you know, and it's a special day, and, uh, you know, I do miss my mammy as well, you know, and, uh, aye. You know, I hope the, all the mammies out there have a great day, you know, and, and get treated like the princesses they are. You're going to sing 
two songs for us. Yes, please. What's going to be the first one? I'm going to sing a song for uh, Bill's mommy, Hope. Uh, this, this is one of her favourites called I Won't Send Roses. That's from... Um, Mac and Mabel. Mac and Mabel, which <clears> lots <throat> of people always think is a wonderful musical, but whenever it's staged, it never really has a tremendous amount of success. Well, give us a shot. Just got the one wonderful song which you're going to sing which for I'm us. Which I'm going to do for you right now. Let's get on with it. I won't send roses Or hold the door I won't remember Which dress you wore My heart is too much in control The lack of romance in my soul Will turn you gray, kid So stay away, kid Forget my shoulder When you're in need Forgetting birthdays Is guaranteed is frantic My tempers cross With words romantic I'm at a loss I'd be the first one to agree That I'm preoccupied with me And it's in So keep your head, kid, and me you'll find things like guts and nerve, but not the kind of things that you Just turn and go I won't send roses And roses soon You And Mabel, the love story of Max Sennett, Mabel Norman. Lovely song. Often ah, Beautifully sung, because oh. it, it's a difficult song, isn't it? Uh, uh, you know, the, these songs uh, the, from the album Hope, they are classics, you know, and they're beautifully written, and, and they are, you know. You, you know beautiful. Did you, have, because you've, you've been in a number of, of musicals, and because obviously you're very musical yourself, did you have much of a difficulty selecting your choices well i think it's uh, the the songs that uh, that you know that for me you know sit well in the timber and get it's important that i get to explore different facets in my voice and these are great vehicles for that terry look, you know you started as a pop singer oh obviously, yeah. Went yeah, yeah yeah and you've made the transition yeah, to sir. being a, a theatrical tenor as uh-huh. you were um not everybody would have 
would do that. Well, I think that's a testament to the people who surround me and people, other people who see these things in me, you know, and uh, I, you know, and I get to explore that and a fan base that will let me do that and come on board and support me and go on the journey with me, and that's the blessing of it. Having been a fan of the marvellous Marty since my halcyon days of 1988, I've yet to get a question or a comment to him. You see, this is Velma B. Oh, Velma. His new album's called Hope. I'm going to see him at the King's in Glasgow. Oh, yeah. So she's moved from Middlesbrough to Scotland, just in case um, you passed her while she was shopping in Glasgow. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> well, yeah, not strictly true, but it helps hey. anyway. Well, maybe. So tell us, you're going to be touring the country? I'm going to be touring, touring the country, doing Hope. I'm all over the place. March 22nd is when you're starting. Uh, yeah, yep. Where do you go first, do you know? Uh, I'm at Nottingham Concert Hall, and then I'm up to the Lowry and... Uh, Mm. And Milton Keynes after that, and well, it goes on in Brighton. So I think you know I'm I'm doing this for the next uh, few weeks, and then I stop uh, for a couple of days. Bill's giving me a couple of days off before I start. That's uh, really nice. A Vita. Oh, well, he sees the big picture. He's you know he's not that much of a taskmaster with me. Do you ever get to lie down in a darkened room? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, please. <laughs> so tell us about a Vita. Well, this, right. is, this is your next theatrical. This is my next venture. You know. Um, uh, 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 you know, it's a, a wonderful piece, and uh, you know, I get the uh, chance to play the part of Shea. And you know, I've, 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 you know, I've sang some of Tim Rice's lyrics before in the chess piece that I did, and uh, this is my first Andrew Lloyd Webber one as well. So, I'm really looking forward to getting to, to getting involved in that. It's, a, it's it, there's such great songs, and that'll be touring the country as well. Yep, I'm out there touring. My suitcase is packed. Well, I was just saying, do you ever see home and mother at all, do you? Do you know what I mean? They rail me in, thank heavens. You know, I have a family who are very supportive. Yeah, of and, you know, But when it's time for me to come home, aye, they're there. Good. Well, look, you're going to sing another song for us? Yeah, yeah. My, you know, I'm, I'm going to sing uh, Send in the Clowns, you know. Uh, another another classic song, a great song and of, of great fragility. And yeah. I just want, you know... Uh, I'll, I hope you enjoy it. From Send in a little, a little night music. Yeah. You got it. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you for joining us, Martin. Always a pleasure. Thank you for bringing your, your favourite pianist along with you and a right. accompanist. Marty, on. God bless. Marty, thank you. All the best. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? less than the ground You in Send in the clown Isn't it bliss? Don't you approve? One who keeps staring around, one who can't move. Where are the clowns? Send When I stopped opening doors, finally knowing the one that I wanted was yours, making my entrance again with my usual flair. of my lines and no one is there Don't you love a farce My fault I fear I thought that you want what I want Sorry, my dear But where are the clowns? 
quicksand in the clouds Don't bother